Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to make a scatter plot and maybe overlay it with some um, categorical data and some regression equations. Now, um, there's a lot of different options that are available to the regression uh, or for the scatter plot. And so what I would strongly suggest is even though you can make graphs from the scatter plot directly, I would recommend using Graph Builder because again, you can experiment with different options and uh, look see what the graph is going to look like before you commit to something. Uh, if you know exactly what you want, the scatter plot tool will do it all. But the Graph Builder will allow you to see what the graph looks like as you create it and as you add options. Now we're gonna go over to the scatter plot option, which is down here. And it's going to give you a bunch of these, uh, all of the variables in your data set. Now I have a, quite a few of them, but we're gonna start with um, just one at a time. You can make multiple plots, um, but uh, it, let's to start with, let's just make one at a time. So let's suppose we wanted to uh, predict alcohol level in our wine. So I'm going to use that for my Y variable. And then I'm going to choose something else over here in order to make my X variable. So maybe color intensity. And so you can see it creates this nice scatter plot for us. Um, color intensity versus alcohol. And it sort of looks like a trend. So um, we could try adding a trend line to this. Um, there are tra log transformations that you can apply, although I don't think it's really uh, appropriate for this particular graph. But if you have ones that are very large, they range from very large to very small, particularly if you feel like your data is like grouped up together and there's a couple outliers that are way out on the end, that might be a, a suggestion that maybe log variable scale would be uh, would be good. Um, but if I want to group the variables, what I what I want to do here is I want to put in a categorical variable. And I have only one of those in this particular data set. And now what it's going to do, it's going to add a legend at the bottom to tell me what the types are. And it's not only changed the colors, but it's created different um, values, different uh, symbols to apply to the scatter plot. So I can see here that I have um, my red ones, my type B ones are down here, my blue and my, my uh, green ones for type A and type C kind of overlap with each other, although the blues tend to be higher in alcohol content and the greens tend to have more color intensity. They're kind of spread out more in this way. So we've created our scatter plot. We'll come back with a new video and add regression.